Hi everyone, Dan here again for the Mentor EM team. And today, in today's installment, I'd like to show you a little bit about using the Files Manager uh, to get uh, reports and settings files and data files on and off of the instrument. So to do that, we are going to make use of our USB port on the instrument. See, we have a, a port on the digital module on the bottom. There's a USB port on there. My module is a little bit different. I have an Ethernet connection as well, but uh, for everything we're doing here, we're going to use a USB memory stick plugged into the USB port on the back of the instrument. Uh, pretty much any USB memory stick should do fine. Uh, it needs to be formatted FAT32, uh, the Windows file system FAT32. Uh, but that's really about the only major concern you'll have there. So the first thing we're going to look at is... Uh, we're going to save a couple of reports and screen captures and things like that, give us something to work with. So I have a lot of uh, apps on my instrument, but for this in, uh, example, we're going to use the Phasic Mode app. That's one that comes with the, the base instrument. So I launch the app. Okay, we're going to go ahead and launch. I'm going to skip to the second panel. That's the first one that has some data views, some interesting things to look at. I have just a basic differential probe here. So the instrument's running. I'm going to do a balance. I'm going to scan back and forth over a crack in my part. I'm going to freeze. I'll just gain a little bit with a gesture. We'll center it up with a double tap. Hey, we'll say that's something interesting that we want to save. So now there are a couple of things I can do file-wise. Uh, the first thing we'll look at, if we come down to the, the navigation bar over here on the right-hand end, you have some file operations. It's sort of a drum with a little gear beside it icon. And right beside that is a button with a little camera icon. So we're going to start with our file operations. If I touch that, I get a pop-up menu so I can save or load settings files, or I can save and load data. If I do settings, that's only the instrument settings. It doesn't include what we see on the screen here. If I do a save data or load data, that's going to bring back the signal as well as the settings. So let's go ahead and save settings. I get a pop-up menu. Uh, it's going to ask me for a file name. I'm going to call this one Dan2. And I'm going to save this. Uh, you notice there's a select location uh, control here. If I touch that, I can either save to the mentor's internal hard drive, or I could save it directly to the USB memory stick that I have plugged in. For now, we're going to say, just save it to the mentor's internal hard drive. And I say save. Okay. Earlier today, I saved a different uh, settings file. Well, before we do that, let's do a save data. You'll see the same kind of thing. It will automatically uh, create a file name for you. The file name will have the name of the app uh, and the date and time. You can override that if you like. I'm just going to let this the way it is and click Save. And I'd also saved a, another uh, data file from earlier today. So if I do load settings, I can select the file that I just saved, Dan2. Load that back. Okay. And I get the settings file back. My instrument is running live, but the data is not there. Okay, so you notice the freeze is off. It loaded back with the same settings that it had when I saved. I can make the same pattern again. If I wanted to see that data set that I saved, I can say load data. And we'll go with the one that was saved later in the day. And that brings back not only the settings, but also the data that I had saved. And there's the signal, as you saw it earlier. Okay, So that's save and, and uh, load settings, save and load data. A couple other interesting things that we can do. If we touch the camera button, 
I can either generate a report or a screen capture. If I do a screen capture, it will automatically name the file with the name of the app, the phasic mode app, the date and time it was created, and that will generate a JPEG image of just what's on the screen. If I do report, it will generate a PDF file that includes a screenshot, but also all of the parameters uh, and their settings as the instrument was set up when I created that file. Okay, so now I've saved those uh, screenshot and a uh, report, settings file, and so on. So now if I want to uh, copy the files off of the instrument that I saved to the internal hard drive, to do that, I will go to the Files Manager. So the file, the first I need to touch the Settings button. That's the second button in on the nav bar down here in the lower left corner. Looks like a little tic-tac-toe board. Touch that. I get the four settings icons. The one I'm interested in is the icon that looks like a little pile of uh, photographs. That's the File Manager. Now when the File Manager opens, it looks a lot like the, the app desktop uh, that you get when you boot up. But you'll notice each one of the, the apps is showing as a folder rather than just the square app icon. It looks like a file folder. Okay. If I go to the app that I was using, the Phasic Mode app, if I touch that, here are all the files that were saved as uh, part of the Phasic Mode app. So my reports are here, my screenshots are here, the settings and data files are here. So settings files have a .ups extension. Reports have a PDF extension. Those are Adobe Acrobat files, so they're easily used on your, on your computer. Uh, screen captures are JPEGs. Um, the data set files are MEMD files. Uh, those are a little less interesting on your PC. However, if you copy data set files, MEMD files, or settings files, UPS files, to a memory stick, you can take those same files to another mentor where you have the same app installed. So if we had another mentor with the Phasic Mode app on it, I can take those files to the mentor. I can copy those files onto the mentor. I can open the Phasic Mode app and look at the data that was saved on one mentor, but I can analyze that data on a different one. Okay, so let's say we want to copy this off to our memory stick. Right now what we're looking at is the internal hard drive. I can filter to see just certain kinds of files. If I say, just show me the reports, it simplifies the list, makes it a little easier to work with. So the filter is up here in the upper left corner. I can look at all my files. I can look at just the data sets, just the images or screen captures or back to all. Uh, for some of these, like the, the screenshots or the, the uh, report files, if I do a long hold on the file name, uh, let's pick a, one of the screen captures, so this JPEG file, if I do a long hold on that file name, it'll load a preview of it. Okay, So I can go back to the file manager by clicking the little pile of pictures that's down here in the nav bar. So again, a long hold to open the preview. Touch the little pile of pictures to go back. I can do the same thing with a report file. And here you can see what a report looks like as I page through it with a PDF viewer. So I get instrument settings and a screen capture. Okay, I can go back. Now, if I want to transfer data to and from my memory stick, if I come down to the nav bar here and I look at the select location button, I can say I want to look at the USB drive. So that's the, the memory stick that I have in the, in the USB port back here. Uh, right now there's not a lot of interesting material on my USB stick, but if I wanted to take those couple of reports that I did, I can filter to just the reports. I touch the little bubbles to the left of each one of those files, and you notice it goes blue and it fills a circle in. 
Now I can say I want to upload. So if I come down here into the lower right corner in the nav bar, there's a little upload symbol. So if I click upload, it will copy those files from the internal hard drive to the USB drive. Okay, so I can do the same thing with my screen captures. I'll select those and I'll upload those to the memory stick. Now you notice the files that I have on the hard drive, I've moved over to the memory stick. Okay. I can go back to my app where I was. I'll pull my memory stick out of the mentor. I'll bring it over here to the computer. And we will open that up with our file browser. And here are the files that I have on the memory stick. All right, there, you notice they're phasic mode uh, from today. If I open one of the JPEG images, there's my screen capture. Okay. If I open a report, there's the report. So I have the parameter values. And the screenshot. So all the information that's in the report. I can do the same thing with the settings files or the, the uh, data set files as well. All that information is easily uh, copied on and off of the instrument. So that's how the, the files manager works. Uh, that's how we get data on and off of the Mentor EM. Uh, so with that, uh, I'm Dan Groninger for GE Inspection Technologies, and thank you for joining me.